My dad expected me to marry someone and live happily ever after. Am I the ghost? I wanted to get married because I was hoping to find love, security, a spring in my step, and joy in life. They were expecting me to find a male partner, but it turned out to be different from what they thought. A wish and the reality are two very different things. And reality can sometimes be more painful than even your worst nightmares. We did everything we could to avoid divorce, but nothing worked. It seemed like I never really knew my eldest daughter. You do need a man in the family. It's actually quite important. Absolutely. I think they really want a grandchild. To get married and start a family. Something most parents want for their kids. But when it comes to families, things can get explosive. Younger people think that it's impossible to commit without love something older people often question. Do the youth really know what they're doing with their lives? Young and old, our realities and dreams can be so different. Seriously, it seems like there's a huge gap between the generations. Sometimes we just don't get each other. The question is, can we fix it? Isn't that beautiful? Our marriage lasted three, three and a half years. We had known each other before and worked together. I just falsely assumed that love wasn't so important and people should keep their feelings under control. But that was wrong. The heart and the mind have to work together toward the same goal. They shouldn't fight each other. A balanced life is a more beautiful one. She and I had different views on the subject of divorce. I could sense how she was feeling, even though we're so different. I really felt the pain that my daughter was constantly going through. And I saw it with my own eyes. It really worried me. This is a huge problem. It wasn't like that in our time. We never discussed divorce as much as we do now. It was only when there was really no other option. But now, divorce is so easy. Everything was different before. Everything, including finances. We just wanted different things. And we're not the only ones dealing with this. We have one of the highest divorce rates in the world. Life just didn't used to be so complicated. And parents didn't put so much pressure on their children, on brides and grooms. We didn't worry about how to finance everything. We were only concerned with making each other happy. Yes, that is very important. Social media has ruined everything. Yeah, but there were problems before that, too. Yes, but it's a big part of the problem, Esra. 
In fact, Egypt's divorce rate has tripled over the past 15 years. And despite anti-divorce courses now offered all over the country, more than 60% of the country's young couples are separating. I told them I had a girlfriend and we were getting married. And also that we were planning to use artificial insemination. That was a lot for them to digest. I was standing in the kitchen when she told me and it looked like she wanted to cry. That made me want to cry too. Since we know we want to have children and I have trouble producing healthy eggs, we thought it would be better to freeze them. Then we would have more options later. My dream is to have two kids. Their genders don't matter. Maybe two dogs. And we live near their grandparents. I was already a mother of two at their age, but they are only just now thinking about having children. I thought back then I was already quite mature. Yo-Yo is only getting started with everything now. That's why I think young people today are still kind of immature, like kids. In Taiwan, many young women are choosing to delay pregnancy and motherhood. But freezing eggs is typically just a precautionary measure and is rarely meant for artificial insemination. Moreover, Taiwan has one of the lowest birth rates in the world. I have very big dreams, and I don't know whether or not I'll be able to achieve them, but they are growing inside of me every day. One of my dreams was to become a makeup artist, but getting there has been difficult. I had doubts. How do I do this? And for whom? With what? But I can do it. My parents had so many questions. They were scared and they didn't understand what was happening. They felt sad and worried and didn't know what they could do to help. Papa really felt the pressure. He got very sick, had a heart attack, and was hospitalized. It was the first time in my life that I understood how much something like this can affect a father. He almost died. He was doing so poorly because I was doing so poorly. That really shook me. Thank God. We supported our daughter and she came back to live with us. My dear Esra, my daughter and my friend. She is my best friend and the only one I trust completely. I love my other children very much too, of course. But Esra and I share a special bond because she is my firstborn, my dear Esra.
Can I have a tissue, please? While divorce is now part of everyday life in Egypt, homosexuality is illegal. By contrast, Taiwan was the first country in Asia to legalize same-sex marriage in 2019. Even so, these couples are still far from being generally accepted in society. Some people don't view same-sex marriages as a real family. And of course my parents worry about that, because they wonder whether our kids will be bullied or discriminated against later on because of it. To all gods, my name is Yo Yo. We will be going to the U.S. next year to start the process of artificial insemination. Please make sure everything goes well. I hope to return with a healthy baby. Can I have a watermelon juice? Fourteen dollars? Here you go. No, I don't need a bag. I had no idea that she didn't like men. When she came out to us, I was so shocked, and I couldn't accept it. In fact, her father even blamed me by suggesting that she had developed such ideas and intentions because of how I had raised her. I also started to reflect on myself and tried to figure out if I had done anything wrong or failed her as a father. Had I, as her father, failed to be a good role model for her? Men from my generation were not ever allowed to cry. Fortunately, I was alone in the car, so I let it all out. I had a good cry, then wiped my face dry, pulled myself back together, and went back to work. As her mother, if I couldn't accept or support this, it wouldn't make a difference. She's grown up now. But if I agree and support her, help her in the future, that could make our relationship much stronger. Hi, why are you wearing glasses? I just wanted to update you on the procedure. My belly feels a bit swollen this time. It felt like that last night. I don't know if that's a good sign. What do you think? Hi. Is it cold in Shanghai? Everyone's still asleep. 
No one's at work yet. It's very hot in Taipei, around 27 or 28 degrees Celsius. Wow. That's great. It's cold and dry here. That's why my voice sounds like this. Just like a cat? Bye bye. Bye bye. I'll let you know when it's all over. Bye bye. <laughs>「Cairo」means security for me. This is the place where I was born. The traffic, the community, the warmth, my family and my friends. They've all been with me my whole life. I've always lived in the heart of Cairo, and I've never even left Egypt. So there's no place I know as well as here. They keep telling me they want me to be the next one who gets married. I hope I never hear that again. Why are you married? <laughs> Look, he's a man and he's also scared. I'm not afraid, but marriage takes a lot of work. No, my dear, we are not in America. This society here puts pressure on us to get married. Your mama will try to set you up too. No, no way. I thought that my mom was more modern. She didn't talk about it so much and acted as if it wasn't an issue that I haven't gotten married again yet. Then I found out she hired a whole secret team to set me up. My mom, everybody in my family, all my friends who got married said, don't get married. Her father and I suffered a lot. Life was not easy for us. Of course, we faced difficulties, and we overcame them. But this generation is impatient. It worries me. Why? I am afraid for them, how society will judge them and what the future will bring, and how tradition and culture may change. We built a strong foundation for them. We've taught them and taken care of them. Now they can decide what is good and what is bad. Yes, that's exactly what reassures me. And they'll be able to make good decisions, whether we're there or not. I felt connected to all the things and places, like they are part of my soul. I didn't just want to dump my things anywhere. These are my things, things that my daughter has played with. It's a terrible feeling that I don't wish on anyone. Um, I can only encourage other women to take marriage seriously. Because in the end, you aren't just making decisions for yourself. You're also making them for your children. And that's not easy. It really isn't. I'm not sure she actually wants a child, but she's planned everything well in any case. 
They have been wanting a grandchild for a long time. Nowadays, parents always act so cool, act like they don't care because they don't want to pressure their kids. But deep down, I think they really want to become grandparents. After we explained artificial insemination to them in detail, they accepted everything. They're hoping the first try will be successful. Our chances are good. I've already harvested 26 eggs. <laughs> we want to have two children in the future, one egg from me and one from my partner. It might not succeed the first time, but I'm sure eventually it will all work out. With all the medical possibilities we have today, we will definitely get there, as long as we don't give up. I'm excited to have a new family member. And it's great to see how my other children, her siblings, have been supportive and optimistic about the marriage and their plans to artificially inseminate. Even their grandmother, too. And she is already in her 70s. She loves her grandchildren regardless and supports her. Fortunately, my mom was wise and offered her support. She said it was the right thing to do. <laughs> oh no, please don't. I won't go near you like that. It's just some cream on my finger for a mask. But I don't want to. This or the dress? This one. This one looks much nicer. Is there a matching headscarf as well? Yes, this one. And what do you wear underneath? A black top. And what do you think about this one? The other one is more suitable for weddings. But this one makes me look like the mother of the bride. Well, but you are kind of like the mother to a bride. I hope you are the next bride. With mask or without? I hope that all my daughter's wishes come true. May our God have mercy on her and guide her. I really hope that God will make her happy. I am just waiting for my daughter to get some good news. In my heart, I feel that God will help her and make her happy. I have never lost hope of committing to a new relationship again. I would even get married again, even though my first marriage failed. I know that everyone is different. I always say that my life is like a book. 
There are some pages that I'll fold and cut, others that I'll just rip out. But the story will continue until my last day. There is hope written on every page in life. Choosing to accept her and give her our best wishes was the right thing to do. I truly believe it. And as her father, seeing her smile happily really touched me. Everyone in the family is facing some kind of pressure. And even though things often don't turn out the way we hope, we can still be a happy family, no matter who is part of it. Actually, I decided on this speech only last night. I was afraid I would forget something, so I wrote it down. But I really want to look you in the eyes while saying this. So if I forget something, please forgive me. You, the most impatient person in the world, remind me every day that I'm a good person. That gave me back my confidence. Thank you. After this speech, I'm sure I'll have to redo my makeup. I am a lucky person. I always have felt blessed. I have never said this before, but the luckiest thing to ever happen to me was being born into this family. You let me grow up in such a happy family. I have no words to express how much I love you.